Hello then, I hope you are doing well. This is a quick guide on how to complete the Mars Heist Battlegrounds. I will first show you our loadouts, followed by the strategies. Timestamps are in the description below. This Grandmaster contains barriers and unstoppables. All three shield types are present within the GM with a threat being solar. At the time of the recording, the surges were void and strand. This could be different for you depending if you do the GM on the week it comes out or later on through your Conqueror title. So always double check whether surges are and match your subclasses and weapons to them. Moving on to loadouts, we had a Warlock running well for survivability combined with Phoenix Protocol to get super energy upon getting kills inside the well. The Hunter ran Mobius Quiver for clearing ads along with Omnioculus for infinite invis grenades. The Titan ran Sentinel Shield for rad control combined with Ursa Furiosa Gauntlets to regain super energy and create orbs of power. Moving on to weapons, the Warlock ran a Wish Ender for stunning barriers and a Fusion Rifle for stunning unstops along with a Machine Gun for rad clear. The Hunter also ran a Wish Ender for stunning barriers and a Glaive for survivability combined with a Machine Gun for rad clear. The Titan ran a Scout Rifle for stunning unstops along with Blinding Grenade Launcher for rads. Finally, they too had a Machine Gun for rad clear. Now onto Mars starting with a class item. Run any of the mods for help reduce your ability cooldowns when using different abilities or run powerful attraction to help collect nearby orbs. You could also run the Moss Proximity Ward and Heavy Finisher to get your health back along with an Overshield when performing a finisher. For Leg Armor, you can run mods for help with your ability regen when picking up Orbs of Power. You could also run Scavenger Moss to pick up additional ammunition when picking up Ammo Bricks. For your Chest Armor, run a Concussive Dampener to help reduce incoming damage from grenades and the barrier's explosive damage. Also run a Solar Resist because incoming solar damage is increased by 25% and if you have room, put on an Arc Resist for the barrier champs. For gauntlets, run any mods that boost your abilities or create orbs of power. Finally, for the helmet, I suggest you have a heavy ammo finder mod on along some ashes to assets to get your super back on grenade kills. These are the loadouts that we used. Either copy them or use them to make your own designs. You do not need the same loadouts, subclasses or characters that we have to complete this GM. With that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Once you load in, begin running up the hill but do not kill any ads. There is little cheese you can do here to skip a tower. Run up the hill following the left side all the way towards Tower C, but remember to not kill a singular ad. Once you get there, destroy the blockade around Tower C and sit on the left side. No ads will spawn around it and the tower will be automatically completed. When it is almost done, the mini boss will spawn in and will rotate to you. Use the hills and cover on the right side to safely kill it. From here you can rotate towards Tower B. Run past it and sit on the hill behind it. You do not need to be sitting on the towers themselves for them to activate. As long as there aren't any ads blocking the tower, it will be automatically completed over time. Eventually a barrier and an unstop will spawn in, so wait for them to get a little closer. Try to get rid of the unstop first as it will rush you, followed by the barrier champ. If you need to, you can always retreat further down the ramp where you spawned to lure the champs away. For the last tower, use this ramp next to tower B to peek over the edge and snipe all remaining adds. As soon as you break the last of a blockade on tower A, rotate to the top side of it to kill the Death Singer. If you aren't quick enough, the Shriekers will spawn and the enemies will gain damage resistance. Once done, you can stick to that area where the Death Singer was because a bunch of knights and two unstopped champs will spawn in. By sticking to the back area, you can safely snipe them all. Don't worry too much about the tower, just get rid of the champs and most of the knights first because from there you can use the railing for cover. Just be careful of your left side because the knights will occasionally jump up to you. Also use as much heavy ammo as you want because there is a heavy ammo crate that you can collect next to tower A at any time. Up next you have one of the most difficult rooms. As soon as you enter, use the boxes on the left for cover because right above you will be an unstopped champ as well as a barrier. Just like before, get rid of the unstopped first, followed by the barrier champ. Now you have two options. You can either stay by the ghost and use the wall for cover or rotate up the stairs to the balcony instead. Personally, there is more cover on the balcony, however, you will need to keep an eye out on your flanks because the adds can occasionally come up the stairs and they will be spawning to your right side. Once you have activated your ghost, the completion bar will begin. A 25% completion, an unstopped champ and a barrier champ will spawn in. Get rid of them as quickly as possible because they can disrupt your ghost when they get within range. At 50%, a Disruptor Knight and another Unstop will spawn in. Remember to keep checking your sides and behind you will be another ammo crate for when you run out of ammo. At 75%, a Barrier, Disruptor Knight and a Mini Boss Ogre will appear. As you can see, we got swarmed by Knights, so be vigilant of your surroundings and keep a Super Spare just in case. You will want to kill a Barrier before it reaches the Ghost, but otherwise focus on the Mini Boss Ogre. Don't hold the peak for too long because it is accurate and does way too much damage. 
the mini boss ogre and ads will continuously spawn in until the connection is complete so if it does get disrupted make sure to establish it as quickly as possible once you get past the lasers there is a little shortcut you can take to get to the top look to the right side of the hill and jump to the top of the pipe run along to the right side and you will find the door once the door opens there will be a group of ads to your left so get rid of them first followed by the ones on the right side stairs then at the back of a room will be plenty of thrall, acolytes and two more barrier champs. Use either side stairs for cover and again don't spare any heavy ammo. You will have another crate later on. Once you get to the vault, two people can stay by the doorway and sit on the top where they will have a laser core. One person can run on their own to the right side to pick up the core since there won't be any ads on that side. Meanwhile, the other two are keeping the area safe. Don't worry if you run out of a core charge because you can always go back to the one you collected since it will reappear. Make sure to collect your heavy ammo crate as you are now in the boss room. Before you start the activity, you want to use any of your single use supers because you will get a fresh one right after you start it. Now there is another cheese that you can do here. First, use the stairs for cover to damage the boss as much as possible, but once he gets close, fall back to the bottom left and right side corners of the room. In each corner is a tower with a ledge at the top. Have one person go to one and the other two can share the opposite side. At the top of each tower is a little perch where you can just sit on and damage the boss from above. Whilst on this perch, the boss will glitch out by standing in the middle of a room not knowing what to do with itself. If he isn't there, he will need to hop off the towers and lure him to the middle first. From here, you can safely damage the boss without taking any hits until he gets to half health. Once he reaches half health, you will need to collect 5 cores that are dropped from Arc Shielded Knights and bank them in the middle on the panel. However, before you do so, you first need to clear the area because in the center will be an unstop and a barrier champion. Using the towers, you can shoot in between the pills in the middle of a room to safely dispose of the champs or use your supers to clear the area. I suggest getting rid of the unstop first since it can rush the towers whilst the barrier will camp in the middle. When the champs are dead, work together to bank the cores. An inverse hunter here comes in real handy for banking the cores in the middle, but you can also put down a well in the middle and do the same. Just do one core at a time to help regulate the ads to clear them along the way. Whilst you do this, keep an eye on the boss. He will have a shield and will be slow moving, but he can sneak up on you in the middle. If he is there, lure him away before trying to bank a core just to be on the safe side. Once 5 have been deposited, go back to the towers and begin damaging the boss once again. The boss will chase someone until at least one person stands on a tower at which point he will become frozen. From there you can just sit on the perches above it and kill the boss. You may have to pause every so often to kill some ads around you but otherwise it's just a home run from here. And there you have it, that is how you complete the Heist Battlegrounds Mars on Grandmaster difficulty. If you have found the guide to be helpful then please like, share and post a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more Destiny 2 guides. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.